On a long and winding road in Malakal town, lined mostly with government offices, Eliza Wanko Chan is opening her tea shop. It's six o'clock in the morning and town is just coming to life. In the market, women are spreading their wares and the smell of fresh bread and tea scones merge with the scent of the tea Eliza is brewing for her customers. The tea culture in South Sudan is a mostly Arabic trend that is carried on through generations. <laughs> People, mostly men, gather together over tea to discuss current affairs and community life. Malakal is the second largest town after the capital Juba. It is remembered for its vibrancy and as a melting pot of everything good about South Sudan. The people, cultures and fresh fish from the Nile which crosses through the town. For years though, Malakal has borne the brunt of the civil war. However, things are looking up as many people like Eliza are returning to live, work and rebuild their lives. The United Nations mission in South Sudan has increased its activities in the town, supporting law and order, human rights, child protection and civil affairs. This is helping pave the way for more people to return home to Malakal, to live with dignity and hope for a brighter future. It's very encouraging to note that life is slowly returning back to Malakal town, the second largest in South Sudan. I've been engaging with the women for several months and the one message that I continuously hear is that they want peace. They want peace for themselves, their family, and most importantly, so that their children can return to school and that they can develop a prosperous and peaceful future for the people of South Sudan. Peace that is slowly returning to this once proud town as Malakal reawakens one baker, one fish vendor, and one tea maker at a time.